All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh, who the world inwardly calls God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. In the title of this lesson, Through the Spirit, I, I might want to um, name it. This is what you have to look forward to. And um, a brother has sent me this article entitled Meta Makeout, Metaverse Kissing Now Possible with Tech That Sends Sensations to Mouth, Lips, and Tongue. Creepy Metaverse users could soon have the power to lunge in for a kiss thanks to new tech. As if the Metaverse wasn't bad enough, with CD strip clubs and naked avatars, experts warn to take the re the realism a step further. You know, and um, you know, Esau tells you his plans in these cyberpunk movies. It was a movie with Scarlett Johansson when she was like half robot. I can't remember what, what um where it was, but I believe that movie actually took place out there in China. You know, and when you look over there in China, what's happening? Is this massive lockdown. Another thing that's happening. Is that there are events. A lot more events. In their technology. You know. And um, through the spirit as we see. What's going to spearhead. You know. This technology is. The fact that. The real world is. Getting even more crappier. You know. So. With depression. You know, you turn to what? That which always soothes you. Uh, a funny video. You know what I'm saying? A TikTok. And in certain cases, even, you know, a virtual sexual experience. So it says, Scientists have created a device that brings a feeling sensation to the mouth, lips, and tongue. They pulled it off by adding a load of special ultrasonic transducers, transducers to a VR headset. At the moment, the metaverse and the VR is largely focused on 360 visuals, sound, and hand controls. All <clears throat> Although experts don't show how it could be used to kiss, you can imagine how it might become a popular use case for virtual lovers. Instead, they demonstrate the technological the technology being used in various scenarios such as a haunted adventure game with spiders. Testers felt sensations on their lips as they walked through webs. Creepy crawlers jump, jump up at their face. And even a sensory feeling from exploding spiders when you shoot them. Other use cases mimic the sensation from drinking a water fountain, sipping a coffee brushing your teeth, and even smoking a cigarette. The clever tech is capable of simulating swipes and vibrations in, around your, in and around your mouth that you will associate with each activity. Haptic boosts realism and immersions and heightens uh, user reactions. Researchers from Carnegie Mellon University said, although we demonstrate a range of haptic effects, the vocabulary of sensations is still limited compared to that of the real world. That said, it is roughly comparable to that of vibration motors and handheld controllers in many mobile phones but with more spatial expressivity. Nonetheless, we believe VR AR systems should strive for greater realism and future work is necessary to expand upon our work. You know, and um I always go into these shows because these shows and these movies spell out what these devils plan to do in their future. And a lot of these movies is what, 2077, 2054, you know? What's the scripture say? Our salvation is nearer than we, when we believe, you know? And prior to our salvation, this devil has to uh, reach the pinnacle of his technology. All right? So as they say in their movies, 2054... This could actually happen in 2024, you know, and um, there's another well-known show 
on uh Netflix called Black Mirror. And I want to, I don't know if they canceled it, but the very last episode of the, the, um, the most recent season, let me see. Was between a guy. Between a guy and his friend, and they were um going into like this this uh I guess a simulated like Tekken match, and which is a good one too. That's fifteen million merits, and they uh the the guy was the man and his friend was a girl, and you know at first it was like harmless, you know. They were going to this, uh, you know, they put the VR on and they were going to this virtual reality and fight. And then after a certain while, it became real, uh, real creepy, as he said before, to when a man in the the girl character, which the girl character was actually played by a man in real life, his boy, you know, they ended up, you know, having sex, you know, and really he knew that that was his boy. So that was some homo shit. You know, but um, I'm trying to find the catalog because a lot of time they give you the catalog on Google. But, you know, like I say, you could just check out. It's the most recent. Let me see. I think it's in season four, actually. Is it this one? Nope. Damn. Bear with me, Aki. I'm going to try to find it. This one. Yeah, that's the one it is. Two estranged college friends reunite in later life, triggering a series of events that could alter their lives forever. You know, and they go into that uh that metaverse reality and things get real 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 freaky. Yeah. And anyway. Yeah, it's called striking vipers. That's definitely the case. I mean that's definitely what it is. You know, and um there's another show I wanted to highlight to you, brothers. It's a show called Upload. And um, there's a uh, episode called Sex Suit. You know, and basically in this show, people that are alive can communicate with their uh, loved ones that died. You know, and they could even, um, you know what I'm saying, if they were in a relationship, they could even have sex. Do something called a sex suit. You know? So that's what this devil has planned for you. In this creepy uh, uh, upcoming uh, dystopian, I guess you would call it, future. Alright, but this is um Revelation chapter 13. And verse 14. And deceiveth them... That the world on the earth, by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that the well on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had a sword, which had which had the wound by a sword and did live. Alright? Because this Antichrist society, which is world, is gonna push upon the people. Is um, you know, comes by way of um, benefits, you know, smooth through you, things that seems like it could help you. All right, that beast that had a wound that did live, the Rome, the fell, came back to America. All right, 
Rome, which spelled out paganism through the rulership of the uh, Edomites, the so-called white people, is also what America spells out, paganism, all right, which pushes philosophy, all right, it's, you know, it's wickedness upon the rest of the world. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, all right, the image is a system, you know, everything that it stands for. You know, I was going to like analogy of a when a man is a painter and he paints things that represents him. You know, it might be a uh, a collage of normally different colors showing you that he has a lot going on in his head. Well, this image that represents America, all right, is homosexuality. You know, the uh the alphabet community, you know, uh uh putting a woman on a pedestal, um, taxing you as the what was it one of the guys was saying, um uh, one of the presidents, you know, the, the founding fathers, I believe. I think it was actually Benjamin Franklin. Anyway, they said the only thing guaranteed in this life is death and taxes. Okay. So that's the image of this place, slavery, debt, you know, and um, chaos, basically. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right, so it's going to come to that point to where if you didn't accept the miracles, well, I'm going to just have to use the fear tactics, you know? And the scriptures say the Most High have reserved 7,000 men that have not, not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. You know, now, this is not to say if you got a VR headset, you're going off. This is just to say, or this is just to give you the reasoning behind what this devil uh, is doing. All right? It says... And that no man might buy or sell. So like in verse 16. And he causeth all both small and great. Rich and poor. Free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their foreheads. Right. Because you got to prove your allegiance. To prove your allegiance. You got to get. To prove your allegiance. To the. Uh, to this system. All right. Which is that of the Antichrist. You got to take something that the Lord told you specifically not to take. Which is when you take this, guess what? It's going to take you out of, you know, it's going to take you out of things, man. Basically, it's going to take your so-called human rights away. You know? You're now a physical, mental, you're now a physical and mental slave. All right? Which we're physical slaves, but, you know, we mentally are free through the truth. You know, we're free to think. As they say. All right. But now you take your so-called free will away and give it to this to, to this devil for a little bit of pleasure. And that's going to come by way of, you know, the um, the chip, which brothers been having various dreams, you know, as far as the chip being implemented and. You know, people just acting like zombies once they uh, once they get that. You know, and again, there's various movies that goes into it. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a good one to recommend for you, brothers. Um, Parallels, that's a good one. Going going into what's coming in the, um, the future. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name or the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three scores and six. Six, six, six. You know, what's this devil incorporates that in everything he does. Proverbs chapter five, verse three. For the lips of a strange woman drop as in honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. 
but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on hell. You know, and the scripture says, Rise ye and depart, for this, uh, for this is not your rest. All right, so this this is what this world has some. This is what you have to look forward to, you know, which is why it's a no brainer for us at least to you know give up our lives to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because what's to come here is not living. All right, even in that show upload, you know, the guy was miserable. You know, he was able to prolong his life, and but. What what life are you prolonging here? Like Job said in Job the third chapter. He said, um, in the spiritual realm, the wicked cease from oppression. And th th there, you know, you can rest. Right? So if that, Lord willing, you I can edify, Shalom to the elect.